Hey guys, today I want to talk about how I put together this coffee bar shelf, kind of what goes into it and just the few steps that I followed to make sure I got it looking strong and looking nice and classy in my small apartment kitchen. It's super nice to have this coffee bar here and especially to have that shelf up there. It really just adds some space for me to put stuff and I can have it looking kind of fancy with the decorations on top of it and whatnot. So let's go ahead and talk about that now. So first things first, you're gonna to wanna to choose a piece of wood. So I measured out my wall, decided how long a piece I wanted, and for me it was five feet. So I went to the store and actually bought an oak piece of wood that was sold by the foot, so I could buy just a five foot section. They cut it for me at the store, and my piece of wood is ready to go. I also, while I was at the store, went to the hardware section and got a couple 90 degree brackets, and I got some bolts, and I got some screws as well to go into the studs. So at that moment, I almost had everything I needed to really build the shelf out. One other thing hardware wise you might want to pick up are the mug hooks, which I got off of Amazon. Those were the most expensive part of it, about at 20 bucks, but that's not too bad at all for a nice shelf. Uh, I got those linked below as an affiliate link if you care to pick those up, order them for yourself or your own shelf. After you have all the hardware, you're ready to start building it really. So starting out, I sanded it down really well. What I also did is I have a little hand planer laying around. So I planed off the edges to have a bevel around three of the sides, three outer sides, of course. And so I have a nice bevel on it. it makes it look a little bit classier and just a little more rounded out polished, I would say. It's not necessary though. I think you could make it look really nice with a regular hand sander or even just some sandpaper. Do it by hand and definitely make a nice looking shelf. Once I was done sanding it, I went ahead and stained it completely. And after letting the stain dry for a day, I varnished it as well. So after varnishing it, really my reason for varnishing is so that it protects the wood. It's gonna be in my kitchen, it's gonna, might get damp. It might have some water spilled on it, coffee spilled on it, who knows what could happen to it. So I wanted to protect the wood in those scenarios. After I'm done varnishing it and it dries, I was able to bring it home and finish working on it. So I brought it home so that I would know where my studs are, so that I know where to drill the holes, so that I know where to put the brackets, and so on and so forth. Simply drilled the holes for the brackets, put those on, I also screwed in the mug hooks at this time, just kind of made them even on either end, so they look nice and even. Uh, I would have done that with the brackets as well, except that my studs didn't line up evenly in this open space behind me. So I would not have had to go into the studs. I probably could have gotten some drywall, uh, some drywall screws, some drywall wags to be able to do it strong enough into just regular drywall. But for peace of mind, I ended up going into the studs. And so the brackets are not perfectly even on either end, which isn't a big deal for me. Another thing I did to kind of make it look extra classy and just, I don't know, extra fancy is I put the brackets on the top. If you think about it, usually a shelf has the brackets underneath and I wanted my shelf to be kind of unique and as a coffee bar shelf, I want it to look nice, classy and just have a character to it, I guess you could say. And so I went with the brackets on top. Structurally, I don't know if it's any less sound. I'm happy with it. I think it's plenty strong for my needs. I don't think it's gonna fall off the wall anytime soon and having the brackets on top just makes it look a little extra cool, I think. So, once you're done with the brackets, I guess you just bolt everything together and you screw it to your wall. I used a level, I'd measured everything out, but I wanted to just make sure that it was straight, make sure it was level. Sometimes your ceiling is not straight, sometimes your floor is not straight, sometimes your wall, your corner in the wall is not straight. So I wanted to make sure it was straight by just using a level. Simple enough, screw it into the wall and it looks pretty awesome, I think. And it really finishes out this space and it might just finish out your space in case you're interested in building one. So if you have questions for me, feel free to let me know. Otherwise, I'm gonna head out here, but I think it looks nice. It really matches my kitchen nicely and it really just finishes out this corner of the kitchen as well. So like I said, if you have questions, let me know. If you wanna see more videos, of this style, feel free to subscribe. I appreciate any and all support I can get. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video. <laughs> Bye.